Hi everybody, this is Eric Solomon bringing you the early pick five preview for Mammoth Park for Monday, May 31st, 2021. I really like this sequence today. I've got a $36 ticket that I'm going to walk you through. A couple things to note that uh, Sunday afternoon they made the decision no turf racing tomorrow. So there's three races carted on the grass at Mammoth, uh, all going to be run on the main track. That kind of helps putting together a ticket for me. Uh, races two and four in this sequence were turf races. They are going to go on the main track, so we've played them accordingly. Uh, I'm going to start with the most likely winner in this sequence to me, and that's race five. It's a four to one shot. I like Pianzi. Pia uh, this is a worse that is this a good uh, other than allowance race in race five. Uh, this horse has been facing better in Maryland, uh, even though he's eligible for the non-winners of one condition. He's been running in the non-winners of two condition the last couple times in Maryland. I thought the last race was really solid. Go back to last year, this horse had a really good campaign facing straight jersey breads in, at Monmouth. Won three times in four starts, was second the other time. So obviously really likes the course here at Monmouth Park. Has a good set that... I, this horse comes a little bit off the pace, mid-pack kind of horse. Gets a real good setup. There's a lot of horses that want to be forwardly placed in here. Now, my only concern is that speed and the rail were good yesterday. He's got the rail, but uh, speed was really good yesterday when it was really sloppy. Historically, we, Monmouth Park, when you get a drying out track, which you're going to get tomorrow, sometimes it does tend to favor speed. So that's something we've got to watch. My plan is I'm still going forward with Pianzi. I, I like this horse a lot in this race. But if, if I'm looking, watching the first few races and speed horses really seem to have an advantage, I'll probably spread a little deeper with the late pick five in this leg. But with that and kind of have that luxury with race five being the end of the early pick five and the start of the late pick five at Mammoth on the nine race card today. Uh, let's go back to the first. Uh, th this is a, um, part of the reason I like the sequence. I've got two favorites in this race. Both horses I, I want to play against. They have good turf form but this is a dirt race and i i just i think others have a better shot i'm four deep here hoping to beat both the one and the two i'm, I'm gonna go with double trouble trapeze artist the armando's team and my top pick is number uh, seven that is vitesse from the wayne potts barn wayne potts also has trapeze artist everything he's sending out is live right now um you got to give an extra look at those, and those horses coming from the Naira circuit running good races on this course. Race two, again, this race is off the turf. Uh, Bellarmine Hall is the one I want coming off of a win at Parks for Jamie Ness. I, I think this is a good place to kind of advance to that. It was a winner with non three, uh, non winners of three, advancing to non winners of four. Probably gets a softer field for this condition today. A couple other horses to use. Drillomatic. Uh, this horse, I could play this horse on dirt or turf. Um, the, the ability is there on the main track, especially when you look back at the 2020 form. Uh, same could be said for team effort. The last couple races have been dull at parks. Um, but you go back to 2020, and there, there was races that would definitely be competitive at this level here. Race three, again, this is one of those races where I, I thought about making Carpe Luna my single, uh, number two, eight to one on the morning line for Steve Asmussen. And the only reason I kind of hesitated there is that s closers were struggling on the Sunday card. This horse is the only closer in this six horse field and, and the other five horses entered in this uh, non-winners one allowance. They're all about speed. So, so all five of them want that early lead. So clearly somebody is gonna have to bow out, not gonna be comfortable. Carpe Luna is definitely comfortable coming from off the pace. Uh, you know, going to get the pace set up. The question is, is she good enough? Steve Asmussen's got her. Uh, she's coming off the layoff. Steve Asmussen, this is part of the contingent that he's bringing to Monmouth. So I think she's very live at a price here. I did put in two other horses, the two shorter price horses on the morning line. Number four, Momos. This horse debuted like a good thing at Saratoga last summer. Followed that up, went to the Saratoga Special, was beaten seven lengths by Jackie's Warrior. Um, we know what that horse is capable of. Uh, Momos went to the turf for two starts, went to the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf Sprint. That didn't go so well, but now Christophe Clement kind of rebooting his, his career, or her career starting off here today. Also looking at Latin Casino, Kelly Breen's got this one. Um... 
seven furlongs seemed like a little bit of a stretch last time out facing winners for the first time at Belmont return goes to Monmouth cuts back in distance makes sense here but again there, there's a lot of speed signed on in this race and then looking at race number four probably could have made a case to single uh the two horse Karen's way most likely winner in this off the turf race um dangerous on either surface two starts on dirt two starts on turf the turf may be a little bit better but but again in, in this field I I really don't see much of a concern I'll also throw in the three streetcar Jones, just respecting anything coming from the Wayne Potts barn right now. Second off the layoff. Did show a little life on the turf last time out, um, but the debut on the dirt was good enough to consider in this race. Uh, do note that if one of those two horses scratch, I, I will upgrade uh, the five horse, um, the somebody's birthday girl. I don't have it in front of me. Uh, big time speed and fade horse. Day's cutting back to five furlongs in, here. So, and the way the track was playing, you know, maybe this horse is over 12, but, you know, it's a five furlong race and the way the track was playing yesterday. Certainly would consider that one, but I, I don't think, I don't, if both of these two horses are in the race, I really don't feel the need to stretch any further there. It's a $36 ticket. Uh, nine races to end the racing week in Oceanport, New Jersey. Hopefully, uh, weather long-term forecast, weather's going to be better and we'll get back on the grass uh, for some good racing next week. Good luck, everybody.